Hey, what up, fellas? This is Carlos here with Backyard Diesel. I'm going to share a little diagnostic tip that uh, I do on the 6.4s. I've looked around, see if uh, I've seen anything similar. I haven't seen anything. Which there's also one video who uh, explains how the problem occurs, uh, which is very helpful. Um, now I want to help you troubleshoot your truck. Um, I'm, ex I'm explaining these uh, videos in English and in Spanish. So pay close attention, it's not very difficult. All you need is an air nozzle, some air, some soap, just to eliminate the uh, front cover on the water pump. Um, so here we go, and am fixing to walk over there. And uh, it's very simple. Uh, don't get too crazy when you got oil and coolant mixtures. It doesn't necessarily mean you know you got blown head gases or anything like that. And it's a possibility. But that's, you gotta ask the history on the uh, on the truck. You gotta know the owners, what are they using the truck for? But that's just a little talking with the uh, customer. Uh, he just said, you know, just, he was driving, pulling, he wasn't pulling nothing, had an empty truck. This is a, this is a, a 550. He works on, uh, he's got a chipper in the back. <clears throat> so I know the truck was never overheated. I know this guy's got a big company. Uh, but that just because he has a big company doesn't mean the, the guys don't be punching or anything. But either way, <coughs> there's your front cover. Um, right in there, if you could... Oh, damn. Let me get in here. Got this light back here. I'm going to show you what, what you're going to be looking for. If you look at the, at the water pump, the front cover, right in here in the housing... This, this is all eaten up. There's not one water pump that I've taken off a of 6.4 that I haven't seen this uh, effect on it. You know, air bubbles and all that. Um, on this one, I found that the uh, the fan was, was loose, which that could have damaged or hurt it some, but, you know, it's made of plastic, not unless you go to a bulletproof one, a steel one. So, that's what we're going to pay attention to. This is what you need. You're going to need some soap. Soap bottle or whatever, just anything you could just spray it in there. I'm gonna do this now. I'm gonna spray this in there where the damaged portion's at. Then I got my air nozzle over here. Got oh shit. I need that to teach you guys. Show you a little trick. Should put my headlamp. I was trying to show off my backyard diesel's hat that I just got. Um then we're gonna go over here where your oil oil caps right there. You remove your oil cap, your air nozzle right in here. You're never gonna overpressurize the system. Don't ever try to get a complete seal. You don't need it. And don't remove your filter. You don't want nothing escaping uh, back through your cold intake. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put it in here. I don't need much. I think I probably don't even have to cover it. This one's very very small. Uh, uh, a pin wouldn't fit through it. That's how small, but with the heat, you know, aluminum, it'll expand, so it'll open up. Let me see if it'll do it now. There you go. It's so small. You can see the air bubbles coming out. And that's all you do. So we know that that's a, damn, I'm fixing to drop my headlamp again. So that's what you... That's how you eliminate that it's your front cover on the uh, water pump. Um, what else was going to show you guys? Same thing goes. Don't get all crazy or scared unless you actually overheat this, this truck. That's the first thing you do. Ask them what was going on, what were you doing. Just driving down the road and uh, he pulled over. He noticed uh, the truck kind of sluggish. So he just pulled out the dipstick, checked it. And I asked him, you ever overheated in or anything? He said, no, you just, I just noticed mixture and that's when I called you. So he called me, told me, I told him, uh, you know, just it's up to you if you want to drive it. You might cause some engine damage depending on how much um, uh, viscosity loss in your oil um, with the coolant being in there. So he said it was milky. So I said, don't worry about it, bring it in. We'll have it checked out. So that's, uh, that's a, a very common issue on uh, the six fours and another thing is um 
So one way to eliminate the um, the oil cooler, that's another one. A clogged up oil cooler would do that. Um, also, I'm waiting for a video so I could do on one on the oil cooler, but it's very simple. One thing that I do, I remove uh, your oil feed lines, which is this one. I pop this one open and I do the same thing uh, right in here. I put soap right in that bolt, right in there. Crack it open, pop the coolant reservoir now and same thing I did do the same thing that or you could pop your oil filter just enough so you could get the uh, gasket out of there your filter gasket that's one and I've seen some uh, other guys that work here they remove that just the whole thing itself right there and put a uh, some soap down there which I won't recommend it that's another way to check your um, if it's your oil cooler or completely remove your oil filter while I still got oil in it and put some air there through your reservoir. That's another one. After that, be your freeze plugs, uh, which is rare unless you have nothing but coolant. I mean, nothing but plain water in there with very little coolant on the freeze plugs. Maybe a tilted uh, freeze plug uh, would also cause it. But this one was very minor. Uh, you could see it barely made a bubble down there. So. Hopefully this was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions or concerns, give me a holler. And so four possible things that could have caused this um, problem. Well, a little more than that. Could I have a cracked head or something like that? But anyways, um, recommendation on this for repairs, front cover, water pump. And now that I know that uh, it's got mixture in there, I'm gonna recommend to change out the uh, oil cooler as well which you know got work cut out for it and now uh, this guy won't like most likely he's gonna go for it I just go ahead and replace it but if you're budget wise money tight it's up to you so hopefully this was helpful and uh, any questions or comments um, give me a holler I'm always responding to uh, videos and uh, that's pretty much it I think I'm gonna do this in Spanish now so, all right. All right, gringos, prietos, whoever's watching this. Quise mi raza aquí, Carlos, con este Backyard Eagles. Les quería explicar, no sé, ya les, les expliqué más o menos, mirando lo que hice. Um, Cómo checar que no está madreada la tapa de enfrente de una 6.4. Ya miraron que les eché aire aquí, donde va el aceite. No pinche quiten nada de esto, nomás quiten la pura pinche tapa del, de la pura pompa del agua. Y ahí está abajo la güey. Bueno, pues quitan el abanico, el pinche front, el fan cover y ese desmadre. Y este, ya miraron cómo le eché, le eché ni tan jabón, una manera de cómo echar aire. Y también cómo checar cuando se te madre el, se potea el pinche, el, el, el oil cooler. Que si lo han quitado, están una, de mil vergas allá abajo. Ese es otro. Y las cabezas, posibilidades que haya un, un encalentamiento. Pero eso es todo, así es como se chequea. ¿Cuál es su problema cuando tienes aceite y agua mezclada? Por ojalá este les funcione. Y este... Una cosa que sí me gustaría, si miren algo, un tipo de video que quieran que hacer, echen una hablada o algo que les explique de qué ha traducido en inglés a español. Pero bueno, muchas gracias por este, ver estos videos. Chequen mi Facebook. Um, same, lo mismo, Backyard Diesels o Carlos Quintana. Y este, creo que tengo links aquí en este... YouTube, sí, sí los tengo. Check in and about, ahí van a estar. Pero bueno, muchas gracias a ustedes. Ojalá este les ayude y con tiempo, a ver si un poquito puedo ser un poquito más detallista. Es muy diferente saber arreglar las cosas que tratar de explicarlo. Pero bueno, que tengan buenas noches y hasta luego.